Jonas here, back again with another VIP video, and this time it's going to be about a options menu, uh, some horror effects, and a aim vertical thing I've been working on. Um, so let's jump into Unreal and have a look at it. Alright. Um, anything that I can hover over, it's going to turn green. That means these things, which by the way is a slottable, uh, are, slottable uh, are going to turn green. And it's pretty precise, so I can uh, tell by the outline of which one I'm going to pick. Uh, another example of that would be the bottle here. You can see also the outline of where the, the lid is going to fit in. Pretty nifty. Uh, when I hover over something uh, that I can climb, my hand is going to get this outline. So as you, by the way, you can see the material uh, of the world is using kind of a block out um, material. That is coming from Tom Lumen, and the ho post process hover effect is also his. So thank you very much for that. Uh, very nice material and pretty easy to use. Uh, so that is kind of uh, what I did with this. Uh, the reason for uh, the hover effect here is when you're underneath something, like here, it's kind of hard to see if you can climb this or not. Um, and this really helps quite a lot. So the controls or widgets things that I made, uh, I put into use. Uh, for this uh, 3D menu thingy, um, as you can see here, it's very simple. The exit doesn't work, uh, the graphics doesn't work, but the controls does work. Uh, here we can change between uh, dominant hand, left or right, uh, and here I'm using the lim changing the limit when once I press it. So to cause this to be depressed and yeah, just switch back and forth. It's just a very simple addition to the already uh, existing functionality of the, the, the button here. Uh, so the physical locomotion system is just consisting of uh, an arm swing and a rip motion and has a direction. So right now the Direction is coming from the controller direction. So in the dominant hand is the left. That means that I press my left trackpad down and swing my arms like that. And they are gonna move in the direction that I'm pointing. Uh, if I just turn this off. Uh, I can also run in place like this and turn my hands in the direction. If I want to do this backwards, I press the back side of the trackpad. Right now I'm doing this on the left hand. So obviously you can change this to the right if you prefer that. Uh, if you want to be able to strafe, you can check this uh, trackpad instead. And if I then press on the right, uh, left side of the trackpad and run in place, I'm going to, on the right side, you can see here, then I can uh, strafe around like this. I don't really personally like this, but it does indeed give you quite a few uh, options uh, for moving around in different ways. Uh, you can also say, okay, I don't really want to get anything from, let's say, uh, rip motion. You can just turn that all the way down. And once you press uh, um, like this, not really going to move. That's going to be a little bit of move because I can't really hold my hands perfectly still. But once I move my hands again, uh, this is going to work. But yeah, um, technically it doesn't really matter. So I, you can just put them both at 100 and that's going to work just fine. You can also select teleport. That's kind of uh, what you expect. And trackpad is just a simple trackpad uh, like that. So that was uh, the very simple version of the menu system and kind of a field test of some of the controls that I built. Um, something else uh, I added was 
to replace uh, the stupid uh, line trace I had before uh, when I made, was aiming uh, for the grapple hook. Um, and the reason for that was um, to play around with how to implement something like an aim reticle. You can see when I'm aiming um, around a corner like this, uh, while I'm doing here with, with my right hand, you can see it's semi-transparent behind. Uh, once it hits the, the corner here, it becomes uh, solid. That means I can, well, uh, I'm hitting something and it's within range, but uh, right now I can't grab onto that one. Um, should probably test for that. Uh, but anyway, so there's another trick uh, in play here. Uh, that is, um, the size of this uh, aim vertical. When I'm aiming close uh, to myself like I'm now, uh, it seems pretty visible. And you'll notice that when I'm aiming very far away from myself, it's also pretty visible. And the reason, the way I did this was to scale it up really, really big when it's far away, and then scale it uh, down very small once it gets uh, close to myself. And that means that it's always going to be visible because if I don't do this, use this trick here, it's going to be basically invisible at a distance because it's so small. So that was kind of what I had to show um, in this video. Uh, let me know what you think. And I guess I will have to go back and do some bug fixing because it's quite a bit of uh, issues I need to deal with yet. So yeah. Until next time, bye.